For over 50 years, the national airspace system has depended on ground-based radios and radar for aircraft navigation and surveillance. But this older technology can't keep pace with the growth in air traffic. The result is airport congestion. This causes delays, disrupting schedules, and inconveniencing passengers. The Federal Aviation Administration is transitioning navigation and surveillance functions to satellite-based GPS. One new technology has been in use for several years already. The Wide Area Augmentation System, or WAS, dramatically improves the accuracy of GPS to meet the high safety standards required for flight operations. We spoke to David Karp, President of Northern Air Cargo in Anchorage, Alaska, about the benefits of WAS technology. We have a fleet of 737-200s. Uh, we have three WAS equipped 737-200s and we've recently uh, WAS equipped a 737-300. So one of the things that we talk about a lot is the fact that we were the first Boeing uh, fleet equipped with WAS. Flying in rural Alaska and delivering critical goods and services to the people that live in this state, um, any opportunity that we have uh, to improve our service and improve the quality of life for rural Alaskans is very important to us. Um, so WAS has now become uh, a critical tool in our toolbox uh, to do that. Um, rural Alaska is a remote, foreboding place. We have lots of extreme weather, um, but there's a lot of U.S. citizens that live out uh, in that part of the country that, that, that need the service, and uh, we're happy to be able to provide it. So since we've been operating at the WAS equipped fleet, um, there, we, we have multiple examples where we've been able to get into a destination uh, when others couldn't, uh, just because of the, the, uh, the uh, approach. And, and for us, a big part of that, uh, and it affects the pricing uh, for our customers, is, is fuel. And we save about 200 pounds of fuel on each one of these flights, uh, just with the ability to fly uh, the precision approaches and, and, and uh, uh, it definitely converts to value for our, for our customers. We're talking to uh, other carriers, which we have, about uh, the benefits of a WAS installation and in, in a, a WAS equipped fleet. Better reliability, uh, saves fuel, improves safety, and results in an overall better uh, uh, operation uh, and delivery of product and services to your customers. Of the many benefits provided by the WAS service, saving lives has to be the most important. We went to Mercy Medical Center in Des Moines, Iowa to ask Director of Emergency Services Dan Keough about the impact of satellite navigation on Mercy's Helicopter Emergency Medical Service. We fly about uh, 300 scene flight type missions where we will land directly onto a hospital or at a non-hospital based, or excuse me, on the highway in a non-hospital based uh, landing zone. Um, we need pretty perfect weather in order to be able to get that done. Um, even with the airport LPV approaches to try and ask a rural ambulance to navigate to an airport because we can get in there has not always been um, the best thing. So it's, uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but it's one that we've, we've kind of met. And now with the WAS approaches, it has really been a game changer for us. I would tell you that of our 1,600 annual requests, we can utilize a WAS approach for over 1,000 of them. Um, and so to be able to hit that much population uh, or that many calls uh, and, and utilize this, it's, it's been, it's been a, like I said, it's been huge. The opportunity to get out of this facility utilizing uh, the precision approaches the way we do um, gives us the chance to bring more people back. And, and every one of those, although they may just be a statistic, that's personal to somebody and that, uh, that's potentially life-changing. So I'd say that's, that's probably been the biggest benefit. Most air traffic consists of general aviation, or GA. GA pilots usually fly small, privately owned aircraft that often use smaller airports. Heidi Williams, a vice president at the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, told us why AOPA members have embraced satellite technology. WAS has enabled the ability for many airports that would have only allowed landings during visual flight conditions. It has opened up unlimited possibilities for pilots who are flying in instrument conditions. It's allowed them the flexibility to gain access to a runway end that they could not otherwise. I think any GA operator in this system that is, has uh, equipped with WAS technology would tell you the benefits far outweigh that initial cost investment. You know, there, there are some, some hurdles to overcome. That's cost investment and probably the 
the um, real estate in the cockpit. But once you've embraced and have equipped with WASP technology, you find that the safety and efficiency benefits and the flexibility that it affords operating in this system far outweigh that initial investment.